All right, so welcome to another video. So in this one, I have just a few more examples with regards to trying to solve for an unknown, which is any exponent. So I have three examples here, and you'll notice that in all of them, I'm gonna just kind of uh, blow this up here. So you notice that once you substitute the givens in all of them, okay, it uh, you will find that we're trying to solve for unknown, okay? In all these three cases, you'll see that we're gonna need to use a log in order to do so. So let's do it, all right? Okay, so example one. I'm gonna substitute the numbers in there for us. Okay, so we have AF, so that is 1000 equals to AI is 125. 1 plus R is 35%. So that you have to turn back into decimal, so 0 0.35. And then we have N. Now it says round to two significant figures, so we'll do that once we solve. So the first item, okay, so let's simplify this. So I'm going to divide both sides by 125. In this case, I can't bring this inside of the bracket like this because I have an exponent which is working on that bracket. You can only bring numbers inside if there is no exponent working on that bracket. So that's why I'm dividing both sides by 125. And here it's gonna give me 1.35 to the n. This is 1000 divided by 125. Now, once you have this, then all you have to do is you have to use log in order to solve for your n. Now, if you want an introduction to log and some maybe some other examples and the reason why we use log to solve for an exponent, I'm gonna put a link up above for you, okay? So you can do that. Now, when we are at this particular point in order to solve for this unknown n, we're gonna have n equals two. So what you do is you take log of your answer, whatever your answer here is. So 1000 divided by 125. I don't do the division. I do not turn them into decimals so that I don't have to carry the decimals, right? So I just leave it as a fraction and you can do that. It's a little bit easier for you. Then we're gonna be dividing by the log of the base. And here is your base, which is 1.35. Now, once we have this, so I can take out the calculator, so here's log. So 1,000 divided by 125, that's in my numerator, and then divided by log of 1.35 equals. So now I have n equals two. Now, it's said that we're supposed to round this to two significant figures. It's 6.929. So my answer is going to be rounded 6.9, so approximately, because I'm rounding. And that's because there's a 2 behind the 9, so it's not going to raise the 9 up. All right, so this would have been the answer for us to two significant figures. Now, if you want a review on significant figures, I'll put up a link up above to a video which will provide that for you. All right, so this was example 1. Let's take a look at example number 2. Maybe let me copy this example here down. Actually, let me erase this, these dots. So, and let's take this one, copy. I'm gonna bring it down, paste. All right, so that's my second example. Switch color. So I have four, one plus x is two. So two, this is cubed equals y, sorry, y is 3, so 3n plus 4. So this is what I have. So I have to simplify this before I do any kind of solving for this n. Now the left-hand side is actually all numbers. I know everything there. So this is going to be 4. This is 1 plus the exponent. This is 8. So 2 cubed is 8. So that's going to be 4. This is 9. So this is 36, okay? So that's what I have there. On the right-hand side, so notice I have 3n plus 4. So I have 
n plus 4. Right, so this just carries down. So I'm going to bring the 4 over to the opposite side because I just want the base with the exponent. So that's going to be 36 minus 4 equals to 3n. So that's 32 equals to 3n. Now using log, so once you get to this point where it's only a base to the exponent, so I have n equals so log of the answer, which is 32, divided by the log of 3. So we're basically taking log of both sides here. And now, so my answer will be log 32 divided by log of 3. So n equals, I know that I have to round this, round n to the 10th. All right, so to the 10th, so that's 3.2. All right, so that is example number two, once you substitute those in. Let's take a look, example number three. This one looks complicated, maybe it won't be. Copy, let's bring it down, paste, so like that, make it bigger. So let's substitute everything in. So on the left-hand side, so what do I have? I have 10, 1 plus x is 3 there. You see that divided by um, 1 plus r is 0 0.15 to the n equals 1 plus a. a is 1. This is that. Okay. So now that we have this, I have my n in the denominator. I don't like that, but um, let's first simplify everything. So I have, so this is 10. In the brackets, it's 1 plus 3. So that's 4. So 10 times 4, so this is 40, divided by, this is 1.15n, right, when I add those in the brackets. So 1 plus 0 0.15. And then on the right-hand side, well, this is not bad. So it's 1 plus 1, which is 2, and then 2 squared, so 2 squared, this is 2 squared, which is 4. All right, so that's what I have there. Now, I have this thing in the denominator, so I don't really like it like that. Okay, so I'm going to bring it back into the um, numerator, so up above. So I can multiply both sides. I mean, I can, let me just do that just so that you can see it. So if I do this, it will obviously cancel from here, but then it will appear right here. So that's what I have there. And with that, so I have 4 times, now I don't want to have this 4, so I can divide both sides. It's going to be 10 equals to 1.15n. And now if you take log of both sides, or basically solving for n, so you're going to get n equals 2, whatever your answer is. That's actually going to be 1, because log of 10 is 1. And then divided by log of 1.15. So let's do that. So log of 10 divided by log of 1.15 equals. So n equals now three significant figures. So that's one significant figure, two significant figures, and then we need the, th the third one after the decimal, which is going to be five, because we're rounding it up, because there was a seven behind that four. All right, so that would have been your answer to that last example. Okay, okay so those are three more examples with utilizing logs. So thanks for watching, and see you in a future video. Okay, so cheers. Bye, everyone.